Hey everybody, this is Steve again. I'm going to show you how to copy a DVD using DVD Decryptor and DVD Shrink. The first step is to download DVD Decryptor at the website shown. It's freeware, so there is no charge. At the top of the DVD Decryptor website, you'll find a download link for the program. Download and install it. Once you've installed the program, we're going to use DVD Decryptor to copy the contents of a DVD movie to the computer hard drive. Next, we're going to open up the DVD Decryptor program. Once the program starts up, we're going to go up to the Mode menu option. We're going to go down to ISO and Read. On the right side of the program, you'll see where it says Size 4,539. This is 4.53 gigabytes. If this number is over 4.64 gigabytes, that means we'll have to take another step to shrink this movie down to fit on a standard DVD. On the left hand side you'll see under destination where the DVD ISO file will be saved. In Windows 7 and Vista you cannot save an ISO directly to the C drive. Once you have selected a destination for the DVD ISO you can go ahead and hit the decrypt button. Once you hit the decrypt button the next step is probably going to take about 20 minutes. and This will actually copy the contents of the disk to the hard drive so just sit back and wait. Once the disk is done copying you'll be notified that the operation was successfully completed. You can go ahead then and close the DVD Decryptor program. We are now done with this step. Since DVD Decryptor has not been updated in the past few years, if you're using Windows 7 or Vista, you'll receive an error message. To close this, just keep hitting the spacebar. Now we want to download and install DVD Shrink. You can find it at the website shown. At the top of the page, you'll find the zip folder, which contains the program. Download the zip file, open it, and install the program. If the size of the original DVD is over 4.64 GB, we'll need to compress it down to fit on a standard DVD. To do this, we're going to open up DVD Shrink. We're going to go up to File and Open Disk Image. You'll now want to navigate your computer to find the DVD ISO file that was previously saved. Once you find the ISO, open it up. Next, the program will take a couple minutes to break down the movie in the menus and video. Now that that step is done, you can now see the breakdown of the DVD. Now we're going to go to the top where it says Reauthor. On the right hand side, you'll see where it says Main Movie. Under the Main Movie, there sometimes will be more than one title. Select the longest one. This is usually your movie. Drag the movie from the right hand side to the left hand side, right under where it says DVD. Now on the right side, you'll see a tab that says Compression Settings. At the top of this tab, you'll see where it shows the video quality. If this number is under 100%, you can remove some of the foreign language audio tracks as well as some of the subtitles. By removing some of the foreign language audio tracks as well as the subtitles, you're allowing for more of the data on the disk to be used towards the video quality. Once we made changes to try to get the video quality as close to 100% as possible, we're going to go up and click the backup. Under select backup target, we're going to go select ISO image file and then we're going to select our save location of the ISO file. I'm going to choose to save my file on the desktop so I know where to easily find it later. Once we hit OK, the DVD shrink program is going to break apart the movie and save only the movie itself. When the encoding is complete, you'll be notified by the screen shown. So just click OK and then you can close down the DVD shrink program. The final step is to burn the ISO file to a DVD. I prefer to use DVD-Rs. You can use any DVD burning software such as Roxio or Nero to burn the ISO file, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the built-in image burner provided by Windows. Since I saved my ISO file to the desktop, I'm going to navigate to the desktop, right-click on the ISO file, and select Burn Disk Image. From there, the Windows Disk Image Burner will open up. I'm going to select Burn, and when prompted, I'll stick in a blank DVD. So you, there you have it. That is my quick tutorial about how to burn DVDs using DVD Decryptor and DVD Shrink. If you guys have any questions or comments you'd like to leave, please feel free and I'll answer any questions you may have for me. Other than that, guys have a good night.